This is Mario with MIA Microflight once again, and I'm about to do another flight with this uh, modified or upgraded Mobila 7. This particular build has the MIA Microflight uh, tough micro racing frame for uh, tiny whoops. You can fit the Mobila 7, and you can fit similar components onto this frame, provided they have the same footprint and the board sits. Um, diagonally inside the frame. This particular build has the white motors which I believe are the uh, 803s and they are 16,000 kV. You can see how the camera sits in its own pocket here or casing. The antenna is routed up through this uh, 3D printed part and this 3D printed part has a brace here to retain the antenna so you can land upside down and the antenna is not going anywhere and it's not going to fray or bend or break typically at the point that the antennas break without this MIA Microflight uh, uh, protection design is part of the camera case the frame from on underneath all the wiring goes through individual slats that are part of the arms and they have been reinforced with this uh, special tape that I use, this black tape that holds all the wires securely to the arms. The board is um, inverted. This is not the stock board layout. Therefore the connection to the USB port is done through the top. As we can see here where you can see the USB port if my camera can focus again on this setup here it's having a little hard time uh, focusing Let's see if I can zoom in on this area here okay, we can see the all the parts that make up the MIA Microflight Tough racing frame USB connector through the top bottom section of the frame and I'm using these um, nice batteries from uh, race day quads and I have included as part of the kit the strap for the battery this is done in TPU as well as this uh, protective uh, sock and that was done because you land constantly land on the battery and so this needed to be protecting the battery and it does provide quite a bit of protection there so you don't ruin your batteries rear section has this o-ring retainer for the wires it allows the wires to uh, be in place while you can still move them without fraying the wires so that's the reason for that o-ring in place and of course the particular detail that makes uh, the MIA Microflight frames uh, stand out from any other frame is these particular rings these are the MIA tough rings that I have uh, included on this frame as a revamp of the same uh, uh, parts that I used on the micro helicopters back uh, in the day of the micro helicopter um, revolution. So we were using similar components, similar materials because of their durability and so I have reintroduced those in this particular quad and that's what you're seeing here. This is a very nice flyer. I'm about to do another flight with my trusty transmitter which is nothing more than this uh, the SM2 uh, T6, one of the uh, first original ones that was produced by Javi King and sold through Javi King. Uh, this radio has gone through a lot of uh, use and abuse. I have re, uh, reworked the radio. It's got my own uh, FPV uh, screen there. And I also use this visor, the smart visor, which uh, I've done videos on this. Uh, previously and I explained how this uh, came about so I'm not going to go too much into detail on this but you can see the gear that I'm using to fly these little quads I'm about to do a nice video outside here
Okay, I was just doing flips and rolls with this uh, quadcopter in my backyard. This is over cement, it's not even over grass, so I'm taking quite a bit of risk here. And I wanted to test the durability of the MI Microflight uh, tough uh, frame, racing quad frame. And you can see here, the only thing that came out of this from that hard uh, landing, and that was <laughs> quite a, a hard landing, is this guard here. Now I did not see a glue this particular one to the uh, cover here but if I had glued it it would not have uh, come out. So all of the frames that I sell in kit form are CA glued at these points here. So you have a minimal risk of this coming loose in a hard hard crash like it did just a, a few uh, minutes ago here. So I wanted to capture this vi video to talk about this uh, the durability and you can see how hard this thing has been taking a beating here, just landing upside down, you know, I have, did, I have my transmitter on uh, high rates uh, for uh, flips and rolls and so every time that I miss a flip or roll, you know, this thing comes down pretty hard and I've landed several times already hard on the, um, on the antenna guard. So the antenna guard that we see here it's doing this job very well I'm gonna just uh, remount this uh, ring here and this is you're not gonna break these rings at all and go flying again I lost the prop here which is no big deal I got some more props there and that's a given you are probably gonna break a prop in the process actually I broke my my motor my motor shaft here so I'm gonna need to have a um, I'm gonna take this out and put another motor shaft there it's not hard to do if you know how, how to do these things there's a c-clip here very tiny c-clip and if you work carefully you can remove that and put another um, you can put another uh, shaft with the uh, I believe the base or the end bell so no it's the end bell or the, the top section of the motor so I have another one that I can replace it easily it's just a uh, it's a matter of taking a few minutes you know, to do that, so I will be doing that and I'll be back doing uh, flips and rolls over cement. This is Mario with my Microflight and this is how durable my frames are. Stay tuned for more.